Hey everybody, it's time for another Tony's Tidbits. And previously I showed you that I got the East Oak 17 inch fire pit. And today I'm deciding to do the first burn. So I'll sh probably load it the same way that I load the campfire. Where I'll, I'll put like a bed of uh, wood chunks or wood. Um, larger wood pieces in, in this case. And then have a layer of pellets. And then I'll just burn it from top down just to see how it performs with this particular fire pit. So I'll show you here, I'm gonna switch my camera here and you can see these are the wood chunks that I have. And then I have the cover is off and my East Oak fire pit. So I'll just take this off and then I'll flip this lid. All right, there it is down there. And I'm just gonna open this here. He's gonna get me a bit, so let me set this down. I'm gonna set this down and try to open it. Sometimes that's the sometimes that's the best way to open it. And I just got these small wood chunks here. Let me see how much it'll fit. Ooh, well, it's larger than I thought. So I'll just bring this bag over here. Sort of set it down. Load it in. Probably just I don't want it to burn for too long tonight. Just want to test this guy out, so. A few logs in here. This is my initial burn. And I don't have that much time tonight, so put this in here. It's nice to have the wood chunks. Kind of easily put. I do have larger pieces of wood too. I just saw this at my local supermarket and decided to pick this up. Close up. Maybe one more. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna I'll just leave this here for now. This back. This is my old box of wood. Here's my pellets. Let me get my pellet break, whatever. And I'm gonna transport a few of these in. Hopefully, don't. Hopefully, this proves that I don't have to. Okay, yeah, it didn't fall, if you if you see there, it didn't fall through the grate, that's good. But, it looks like it's going to take a lot of pellets. So, maybe a few pounds. Now I feel like I need to get a bigger vessel to transport these pellets. But... You know, we'll see how it goes. Sorry, I'm uh, moving pretty quickly. And I don't want you to feel like this is like some some live movie that you're going to get sick. Um, I just want to load this up while I have daylight. Uh-oh, dropped a couple. Yeah, here we go. I just want to load it halfway today. See how it goes. There we go. And I want to see. So the test about the pellets is true. 
the pellets didn't just fall through. I'm gonna pick up a few of these and toss it in there. I'll do one more. One more quick spoon of pellets. All right, so you guys put that there, put that there. So you got a mix, if you look in there, you got a mix of pellets and the wood. And uh, I didn't load it all the way. I'm, I'm not looking for a long burn right now. What I'm gonna do is then put some of these fire starters in. So I'm gonna take a, I got these new fire starters. They're, I guess, uh, rectangular. And I'm gonna do a mix. Um, I'm actually going to take this. I'm gonna break one and put it right there. And put it right there so you have the fire starter that's here the fire starter that's here I'm also gonna take a little bit of hand sanitizer and burn it let me uh, let me go grab that be right back all right I'm not ready to burn but what I'm gonna do is I have this particular hand sanitizer and before I burn um, I'll show you how what I do and I'm just gonna squirt this around just to get like some hand sanitizer in there. And then I found that it heats and gets to secondary burn very quickly. So I'll do that. Um, so I'm just gonna prep this. I've already prepped it. I'm gonna go eat some dinner. I'll come out and then burn this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm on my Pixel 7 Pro because just in low light, it does a little bit better on video quality so what I have here is my torch and I do have my hand sanitizer here and so what I'm gonna do is just pretty much I'll just do like concentric circles of it around and so that's all I need I don't know if you can see that so let me see if I can there you go see those concentric circles and I'm gonna take my torch and I'm just gonna light this guy up and this guy up. And then you could you could light up this too if you want. But it actually doesn't look like the uh this particular brand is lighting up very well when it comes to the hand sanitizer so uh, not all hand sanitizers are equal so you have to take a look at how much alcohol content is in the sanitizer but when this starts to war I will do another video here's the stove at full roar it took about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get there it does irradiate some heat so that's a plus I don't need any heat deflector and I'm really feeling it right here, just sitting here. My knees are a little bit warm. And I only feel this half full. And it's got some of that secondary burn right there through coming through the hose. So, so far so good. Uh, I will give it a couple burns. And if I have any updates, I'll do another video. Thanks for watching. So the burn is done. And I have... Put the cover on um, the fire pits there and I got my trash can for the ashes. I'm just gonna open this trash can here and then I'm gonna lift this up and you'll see the ashes. Oh, Ooh, sorry for that loud clang. I dropped a little lid, lid here. You can see I'm gonna take this ring off so we can lift it out. And then here's that little hole. Oh no, it's so windy here. Little windscreen there. Try to get this before the wind. You see here, we'll lift this out very carefully. Got all the ashes. And we just dump it like that into. And I'm just gonna use this and shake it off. Try to close it. There we go. There is some ashes at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take that and shake it. I'm gonna put this down here in the sign. 
That's what the pan looks like. Here's the lid. And then I'm just gonna, it's light enough that I can just go into it and just put this out in the yard and shake it a little bit. All right, so a little bit of ash on the thing, which is okay. Let's we'll just put this down. And then we'll take our little prong here. And then just put it back in. Looks like it's ready for the next fire. Not so bad. Pretty easy to take the ashes out. Yeah. And we'll put this ring. All right, now just going to put it upside down so I can put the lid on. There we go. It's ready for the next fire. And so, I'll go in here, maybe cover it so it looks, and kind of keep it away from the elements if we have any uh, weather coming in. There we go. Cover it there. The ashes are out. Some of this ash would just blow away. So you say it's pretty good for your yard, so we'll see. But anyways, there is emptying the ashtray. It was pretty easy. Um, that gust of wind was <laughs> unfortunate, but it was easy to clean. Thanks for watching.